Hi everybody, welcome to another video. Today we are going to upgrade the RAM on our 14 inch HP laptop. So I have two 16 gigabyte sticks of Patriot memory, 2400 MHz, so not the fastest, but it was $20 cheaper. And um, I wanted to match the same speed as the old RAM. So the original RAM, I shouldn't say old, but the original RAM is also 2400 MHz. So. So to open it up, we just got to remove first two front screws and then we got our rubber lining here which has one screw and the other rubber lining has three screws. So you are looking at six screws total. You're only going to need one screwdriver for this job so pretty fun upgrade, pretty easy. Screw number three. So this one's a little deep, so I had to um, loosen them up and then shake them all out. Also, I highly recommend using a Crucial Scan and CPU Z to make sure that your laptop is compatible with a RAM upgrade. I looked up the motherboard specs and you know it, it could definitely handle um, 32 gigabytes of RAM. So we are going to double check that after the install. So here we're using our plastic prying tools. Also if you have a 3D printer I highly recommend printing a few like this uh, color gray one. I printed a couple of different uh, prying tools. It's uh, work. They work really well. And you know, they're quick prints, so pretty sweet. Yeah, the tricky part with these HP laptops is that, um, that opening re closest to the monitor. So I kind of have to gradually just open it up. Luckily though, we've opened this laptop up once before, so it's much easier now. So this is our second time opening it up. I'm trying not to open up this laptop too much because of the adhesive on the rubber strips. And I don't want to use them up and then I'd have to like put some kind of adhesive on it. So hopefully this will be the last time I'll be opening up this laptop. Right, so we are getting close. I just got to flip it over and finish the job. Excellent. So the RAM is on our left side. As you can see here on the camera. It's got to open up the tab. I think it's called a notch. It's a RAM slot. Let's open it up and it'll incline and we got it. Nothing too fancy. Next, we want to install our new sticks of DDR4. Usually, I go for the Patriot memory because they're they're cheaper. But also keep in mind about the uh, the, the speed too. Because usually, Patriot memory um, they usually they usually have the slower speeds. So 2400 megahertz is already um, slow because there's a lot, there's like 3200 megahertz out there, you know, much faster RAM. I, I just wasn't sure if this, uh, this model would support it. So I wanted to stick to the same frequency, especially since I'm going 32 gigs, you know, going big. But if you guys do upgrade to a much higher uh, speed of uh, RAM, yeah, let me know. Uh, that'd be interesting. 
But also remember that uh, if you do open up the laptop, we pretty much voided the warranty with HP. Just gotta close it up good. Yeah, if you have any questions, I can try to help you out in the comment section below. Let's tighten this up here. It is a sweet looking laptop. So we gotta put back our six screws. Number two. Number three. Number four. Screw number five. And screw number six. Don't forget the rubber lining. Or the rubber pads might be the term. So yeah, it's starting to lose its uh, stickiness. So I'm trying not to open up this laptop too much. There we go. All right, and then we got to do a test. Let's open this baby up. So it recognized it instantly, so that's pretty cool. So if you look on the screen, uh, it is recognizing 32 gigabytes at 2400 megahertz. CPU-Z can also give you additional information, so I highly recommend um, downloading that. So in this case, it shows. We got this. Let's see here. So it's, sh it's showing this right here. And then we're, yeah, there we go. So you can see slot one. And then you got your slot two. So they're both the same sticks, same brand, same speed and everything. I, li I like them to match. So. so that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Take it easy.